So it's April 12th and Cody and I and my grandpa came out here to mow down where our food plot's gonna be. The main part of the food plot is gonna be um, a section running right by the stand that we've chosen and it should work out really perfect for having a stand and a saddle from the tree that we want to hunt out of. Being that we have a cameraman and a hunter. So we came out here and mowed down where the food plot's gonna be and we blew off a little bit of the grass before the blower died. In a couple days we're gonna come back here and blow slash rake the rest of the debris off and then spray it and give it another couple weeks and then come back here and till it and plant it. So now it's time to get to tilling and planting. Let's go. Well, it's not a buck by bow hunters vlog or video if we don't get the car stuck. Third time this year that we've gotten the vehicle stuck. And part of that's because we are just driving more. But one time Cody got it stuck. He was driving up to the house back in our woods and he should have hit it faster. And here I should have hit it faster. I figured the field would be drier. But now, check this out, we got an off-roading Corolla. Thankfully my grandpa is not too far away again. He's just back, back over there. So he's gonna be here just soon with the tractor to help pull us out. We, we gotta get the car stuck every time. <laughs> well, I am back here at the food plot again today by myself. I'm gonna quickly rake off whatever I think needs to be raked off, whatever I can get done, and then go ahead and spray the whole plot. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be awesome. Well, that's gonna be a wrap for today. Just got done spraying the entire food plot. Our tree stand is gonna be going in this tree right here. We'll probably have a tree stand on this side facing this way into the food plot and then a saddle on the back side facing towards the tree to film. So I think it'll be a pretty sweet setup. So I'll see how much it killed it in a couple weeks. And we'll come back here in a couple weeks whenever it's dried up. Probably blow off all the remains and then till it up and seed it. So we are back here at the food plot. It's been about a week or two, and uh, what I sprayed didn't do too much. Um, did a little bit. Grandpa is out here again with us. He's uh, tilling the food plot. We got the seed to go in it. It's the Whitetail Institute Clover. Um, never planted this stuff before, but I got a quarter acre bag of it, and I wanted to plant it and uh, do a review on it, and possibly get updates throughout the year. So. We'll see once this is exciting to get this type of work done. Um, yeah, here we go. Okay guys, so that's a wrap for this step along the way. We just got done tilling and seeding the food plot. Huge shout out to my grandpa for being able and willing to come out here and help us help us with this project. It's pretty impressive because he's 84 and he's still able to come out here and help us with this type of stuff. So huge shout out to him. So overall the food plot looks really good. There was a part of it that we were originally planning on tilling down that we didn't end up tilling down because it was a little bit too wet. So we got a pretty good section carved out and planted and uh, the furthest spot from the edge of the food plot to the stand is gonna be probably about 30 yards. So that should be really good for this fall. I can't wait to come out here in a couple weeks, see how it's coming along and put out trail cameras and that type of stuff. So yeah, that's it for today. Got it all seated and uh, yeah. Is it overexposed at all? No. Are you recording? Yeah. Is there audio bars? Yeah. All right, so it's been about five weeks since we planted the food plot and we came out here to fly the drone to go check up on it. We were we started driving out to town to go get a trophy rock. I was gonna put out a trophy rock and the place where we were gonna go get it was closed today. So instead, Cody and I came out here and we're gonna be flying the drone um, over to go check up on the food plot. So we're gonna see what the growth is on the food plot after about five weeks. Here we go, let's do it. All right, so we're taking the drone up right now. All right, we're taking her up and over the woods. The trees are way greener than when we were here last time. That's crazy. Yo, it looks mostly brown. Yo, 
looks more. Why is the signal lost? All right, I want to drop the drone right down to the food plot. See if there's anything growing. What's happening? Okay, so aircraft returning to home. So that's kind of a disappointment. Shows like there was nothing that came up. And we're going to have to go back and look at the footage at home on the big computer because the feed through here, the live feed isn't that great of quality. Maybe it'll just take a couple of weeks for it to come out, but I think it's been like four or five weeks, close to four or five weeks since we planted it. For it to not be up yet is not good. I really don't know what would have gone wrong because we planted it inside of their recommended planting dates. It rained like a day later and now it's just completely brown. That's the nice thing about clover though, is that if we don't get it planted now, we can at least come back and plant it again in the fall if it doesn't work out right now. So, yeah, we might have to do that. Or maybe we'll have to plant oats or something back there later on this fall. Okay, so after further review, it looks like the food plot literally did not come up at all. Or maybe just a little bit of it came up. So, I, I honestly have no idea what went wrong with it. We showed you guys the process, how we did it. It rained a day after. Um, that night. That night, maybe, you thought? Yeah. If you think you know what went wrong, just please comment it down in the comment section. We'd, I'd love to hear why you think it went wrong, what you think went bad with it. Apparently it didn't work out. So, I guess my main plan, so I guess my main plan for the season, that food plot didn't really work out. So we're gonna have to just wait till fall, I guess, to plant it again or plant oats or something else. I have no idea why it went bad. You guys saw the video, you you saw the whole process. Um, I think I said like how far apart every day it was and it's just dirt right now. And it's too late in the season to plant anything again. So I don't know if I'll be planting that stuff again or not. Cause it, everybody that I talked to said that that stuff, they just like threw it out and it grew well. And we, we didn't rake anything over top of it. We seeded it out like it said on the bag um, and then we did a few select spots where we stomped down in the dirt to try to get it packed in but and then we left most of the plot just uncovered and then it said the rain is supposed to help pack it in that's what we did and uh failed <laughs>